What makes a football champion? A good team, good coaching, lots of hard work, a great deal of natural ability. Any or all might be the answer. Our champion under discussion now is Dave Hopman of Iowa State University. He is the 1961 National Collegiate Total Offense Leader. Hopman ran and passed for a total of 1,638 yards in nine games during the 1961 season. He represented better than 70% of the Cyclone offense. He was called the nearest thing there is to a one-man gang in football. Many words have been written about what makes him a great player. He passes, he runs, and he defends with a class of a champion written all over him. What makes it possible? Probably the best man to check with would be Dave Hopman, all Big 8 halfback and a member of several All-America squads picked for 1961. Let's ask Hopman what makes him one of the nation's top backs, a near sense to be a 1962 All-American. First, I would say the coaches. Without a doubt, Iowa State has the finest coaching staff in the U.S. today. Coach Clay Stapleton has influenced me a lot on the football field and off the football field. Secondly, the conditioning, training, hard work on the field and off the field, both mentally and physically. Finally, but not last of all, I'd like to say that it was the blocking I've had this year. It was ten men up front have done a tremendous job for me. I would say without a doubt, anybody can run the ball, but it takes real man to get out there and block for him. Now let's follow Hotman through some of his clutch performances to the total offense crown for 1961. The Drake game was one of the toughest in years. Midway in the fourth period, the Cyclones had only a 6 to nothing lead. Coach Clay Stapleton twice sent his veteran tailback into spot action to build that lead. After the Cyclones lost one touchdown on a penalty, the next scoring effort was on a pass. This time there was no doubt about the action. Hopman collected the pass from center and hit Larry Montre for the second Iowa State score and a 13 to nothing lead. Things were a bit more comfortable for the anxious Cyclone fans, but Hopman gave them even more security. After Ozzie Clay picked up three yards to move the ball to the Drake 25-yard line, in came Hopman again. This time, Dick Limerick was his target, and he hit the speeding wing back just right to let him nick the corner of the end zone and push the score to 19 to nothing. Then to show that he could hit a small target as well as the wide open one, Hopman drilled a pass to Larry Hannes for a two-point conversion. Hotman was a real standout in the Oklahoma State contest. Oklahoma State's Dave Hanna punted to Captain John Cooper, and the Cyclone leader returned the punt to the Oklahoma State 40-yard line. Larry Montre got in the open, and Hotman put it right into his arms. With Dick Limerick, Paul Sullivan, and Dave Clayberg blocking, Hotman follows them into the end zone for a 7 to nothing lead over the Cowboys. Oklahoma State tied the score, but in the third period, Hotman put Iowa State on top to stay. Dick Limerick, Dan Saloni, Jim Clapper, and Dave Hoover set up the blocks that Hotman used for a seven-yard gain. Then, when Oklahoma State had all of his receivers covered, Hotman had to take a three-yard loss. But he quickly made that up with some despair. Watch the blocks as set up by Clapper, Hoover, and Saloni. After that, Hotman was on his own. At Oklahoma, Ronnie Payne, Sooner punter, got off a bad one. The Cyclones had the ball at the Oklahoma 17-yard line. After one play, Hotman and Joe Burton teamed up on a brilliant pass play that put the ball on the one-yard line. This set up the scoring push by Dave Hoover on the very next play. 
At Kansas, the Jayhawks had a 7-0 lead in the second quarter with just 26 seconds left to play in the half. Iowa State got the ball and covered 36 yards for a touchdown and had three seconds to spare. Hotman also demonstrated that when blocking is not available, he is still a dangerous runner. He first picked up nine yards to the Kansas 27. Then, with fine protection, he dropped back to pass and hit Larry Montre on the Kansas eight-yard line. With time almost gone, Hotman and Montre team up again. With that same pass protection giving him all the time he needed, Hotman waited until Montre had reached the end zone. Montre was covered by two Jayhawks, and Hotman flipped it to a clear spot. Montre stepped in to get it, and the Cyclones had a 7-7 ball game and three more seconds of playing time than they needed. Against Missouri, Hotman mixed his passing and running to bring the Cyclones a score. In the fourth period, Dave joined forces with Larry Montre again. He connected with a big end for an 18-yard gainer to put the ball in the Tiger 24. Paul Sullivan supplied the key block for Hotman as he gained three yards around right end. With a 10 men up front giving him good protection, Hotman went back to pass. He let Montre outmaneuver the Tiger defense, and then connected with another touchdown pass. The kids in the end zone made some pretty good moves getting out of Montre's way. Hotman had his greatest day against Kansas State, rushing and passing for 311 yards and a record of 271 yards on the ground. It all started when K-State's John Drew punted to Hotman at the Iowa State 24-yard line. Hotman returned the ball five yards and then really went to work. Three of the ten men up front were Bill Smith, Clapper, and J.W. Burton. With these three men throwing some key blocks, Hotman cut loose for a 71-yard scoring run that tied the score against the Wildcats. Hotman isn't a slow runner, along with all of his other assets. It was a beautiful run, but the show was far from over. Just to point up his versatility, Hotman got together with Montre again. After Limerick, Smith, and Clapper had led him to a four-yard gain over right tackle, Hotman was ready to throw once more. He spotted Montre and cut loose. Montre was having a bit of trouble with defense man Ralph McPhillan, but finally shook him off to take the pass and score. There was still one big play left for Hotman before the day was over. Drew putted once more, and Kansas State's Darrell Elder downed it on the Cyclone 31. Pass from center. Clayberg and Clapper provided the first blocks, and then Randy Kidd and Hotman team up for the rest. Kidd said he could tell where Hotman was by watching the defender's eyes as he kept running straight at him to let Dave set up the block. A 69-yard scoring jump. At Boston College, the passing was more effective, with Dick Limerick doing the catching. Hotman picked up a yard against the big Boston College line. With nearly impregnable pass protection, Hotman again waited until Limerick had outfoxed the defense and then fired to him on the BC 45. The big Sioux City back added 10 more yards before being pulled down. That was too good a play not to repeat, so Hotman passed to Limerick again. This time, Dick outfought his defender, took the ball, and went in for the score. Against Nebraska, Hotman turned in one of the greatest individual runs of the year. First, he hit Burden for a seven-yard pass play to the 50-yard line. Then, with two fine blocks in the line by Ray Steffi and Saloni, he went to work. First, he ran over the linebacker, and then started to maneuver. Here is a champion who can use his blockers and also run on his own effort.
In the fourth period of the Nebraska game, it was Hotman and Limerick teaming up again after an incomplete pass to J.W. Burden. Hotman found Limerick free at midfield for another pass completion. Limerick had a block from Steve Sturrock and then worked his way to the six-yard line on his own. It took two more passes for the Hotman-Limerick combination to bring the Cyclones another score, but they were equal to the task. The final pass covered the six yards and let the Cyclones bring their total to 13 points for the game. There's no question, it appears, but that Dave Hotman had it all summed up real well. Good coaching, hard work, and fine blocking by the ten men up in front of him. It also takes a mighty fine football player to make full use of all these ingredients. It takes a champion.